Oh boy, is there a juicy one today. Hey, after losing Johnny Gaudreau, I mean, look, from what I saw from Johnny Gaudreau in the 2014 Calgary Flames development camp, I saw it right from the get-go. I said, this guy looks like Patrick Kane light. And throughout his career, he's been compared to Patrick Kane a lot, Johnny Gaudreau has. But now, how cool would it be if the Flames go and actually get Patrick Kane? That would be amazing. And look, this Patrick Kane talk, it's going to start to heat up. And we know that he's going to get traded most likely this season. He's going to wait to see who's really good, who's a protector, who's a contender, who's just a playoff team. That's what Kane's camp is looking for here. And as far as teams in the running to get him, I want to redirect you to the hockeywriters.com. We go to this site quite a bit on this channel. And one of the newest headlines saying, could the Rangers drop out of Patrick Kane race? As you know, they've been the favorites linked to Kane now for months. Larry Brooks of the New York Post, one of the most reputable sources in Rangers hockey, has linked the Rangers to Patrick Kane for months, but for the first time, he's second-guessing the team's potential desire to go after Kane. Based solely on the play of Capo Caco and Alexis Lafreniere, Brooks writes, wouldn't it be grand if GM Chris Drury enters the deadline in a position Position of strength without being obligated to move either or both of his 2023 first rounders or any of the young blue chippers within the organization. The trade deadline is five months away, but if the Rangers drop out of the running for Kane, it dramatically changes the optics of what a trade deadline deal might look like. To a lot of insiders, the Rangers were the favorites to acquire him. Now that is a seismic shakeup. Obviously, now, that would change everything. Of course, it's not confirmed. Of course, the Rangers are not 100% out on Patrick Kane. But, redirecting you to another HockeyWriters.com article, Craig Button said that the Flames are a top landing spot for Patrick Kane. Okay? And to me, as soon as I saw this, I'm like most people where it's like, okay, well, how are you going to pull this off? Deals like this are so incredibly difficult to pull off in the salary cap era of the NHL. You just re-signed a Kadri over $7 million. You just signed Huberdo over $10.5 million. What are you going to do here to get Patrick Kane? Listen, the biggest difficulty is the cap hit. We know that Patrick Kane makes $10.5 million for this season. The good news is that the Hawks have over $6 million in cap space, meaning they would have no problem retaining a good chunk of his deal if they feel the package coming their way is worthwhile. That's the second part, right? What on earth could the Calgary Flames give up short of Huberdo or Kadri or Manjapani that's valuable enough to warrant a Patrick Kane trade to make the Chicago Blackhawks do a double take and say, okay, this team's serious. Well, look, the Flames have a sneaky great prospect pool and there's two names that come to the top of the list that a rebuilding Chicago Blackhawks team would be salivating over. Number one, Jacob Pelty, playing in the HL for the Wranglers. He has been a top prospect in the organization for a long time. That's a guy that the Blackhawks would definitely be interested in for their rebuild. And number two, this guy is a future star. If you saw him at the World Juniors, you saw it. This is a guy that is a cornerstone piece if you get him as a prospect, Matthew Coronado. He's American-born. He would be probably the centerpiece in a return to the Blackhawks. He is the guy that could get this deal done. If there is a high draft pick and one of or both of Pelti and Coronado, this deal could get done. There's also some other names that are good prospects. Guys like Adam Ruzicka, guys like Connor Zeri, who get mentioned in this article as well. If the Flames decide they want to go down this route and they want to get Patrick Kane to ride shotgun alongside Lindholm and Huberdo, they have the assets to do it without decimating their roster. They can give these guys away because they're looking to win Stanley Cup right now. This makes so much sense. The only thing is that would Patrick Kane be willing to come to Canada? And I know everybody says, oh, it's really cold in Chicago. He's used to the cold. He's used to the snow. Yeah, but playing in Canada, all everything that comes with that. Look, I didn't believe it a couple of years either. I believe it now, okay? Everything with Kachuk and with Gaudreau, I believe that American-born superstars want to play in the U.S. I truly believe that. But if you could sell Patrick Kane on the Flames being a bona fide Stanley Cup contender, absolutely, I think he could come. I, I really, really do. 
And to me, that's the hardest part. Because look, the cap thing, that can get figured out. The assets, that can get figured out. Trust me, Chicago will be very interested in what the Flames have to offer. But it's the coming to Canada that I'm not so sure about. Maybe he wants to go to the Rangers. Maybe he wants to go home to Buffalo or to Vegas or to wherever, you know? But in Canada, it's a different animal. But on the other side of the coin, who's to say he doesn't want to experience playing in Canada? It's just one year here. Well, like, who's to say he doesn't want to do a, a Kawhi Leonard type thing? Come and kind of see what it's like. Oh, do I like it? Do I not like it? And maybe even win a cup. And as we know, Patty Kane, he wants to win cups, right? So... Who's to say he doesn't want to experiment that? So to me, when Craig Button said that the Flames are a top landing spot for Patrick Kane, I, you know, snickered a little bit at first. But upon hearing more about it, man, this makes a bunch of sense. If you're not sold on this being at least a really real possibility, then you should be now. Because it just logistically and logically, it makes too much sense. I'm not saying the Flames are going to get them. I'm saying it makes so much sense for them to be in the running and for the boys in red and white to be at the top of the list for Patrick Kane. It makes a ton of sense. Of course, I want to hear what you guys think about this in the comments below. As usual, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more Flames content. Man, this is exciting. I hope the Flames get them. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.